walking down the street and uh, something caught my eye which is just above me it's at night time what is that an alien or some bizarre being from another world oh crikey I think that's a possum just sort of hanging there on a wire doing a high wire act very dangerous one indeed And if we're lucky here, we'll see Mrs. Possum doing a nice little walk along the wire. I'm just walking along with this thing. It's probably going to go to a tree. Highly skilled, hey? Look at that. Back to safety. Go, Mrs. Possum. Normally, I look over bits of rubbish on the side of the road. Look at that Lightning McQueen bike. That's amazing, isn't it, hey? Uh, but I think we prefer to look at possums doing high wire acts. There's something on the rubbish pile here that has actually caught my eye and I well I used to do videos where I studied rubbish piles maybe you want me to go back and do those styles of videos I know this style of vacuum cleaner quite well let's take a closer look let me unclip this wondrous machine from there and oh I can see it's already falling apart on me before I have a closer look uh, I'm pretty familiar with these styles of machines I think uh, my simple advice to anyone who's thinking of buying a cheap vacuum cleaner, this is what you do. Uh, instead of buying a cheap vacuum cleaner, go and buy some Bitcoin, and then in a short period of time, hopefully, you'll have enough money to go and buy a beautiful Dyson vacuum cleaner. I often see this style of vacuum cleaner on the rubbish piles. Uh, this is a peculiar one. I'm not going to say the shop where I've seen these for sale, because I'll get into the trouble, but this tries to mimic uh, the look of a Dyson by putting this here. This is absolutely nothing. It's it actually does nothing at all. It's a bit of a fraud, okay? There's just a whopping filter in there which gets clogged and causes nothing but trouble, okay? So, um, yeah, it's really sad. <clears throat> These styles of vacuum cleaners are dirt cheap. I'll see if there's a year date underneath here. Well, I can see uh, down there 11 slash 2015. I'm making this video in 2017. In the winter time in Australia, so it's rather sad, isn't it? Very, very sad. This hasn't lasted very long at all. Well, this cleaner had a one-year warranty. What, it's lasted two years? The main problem I see there is made in China. Well, guess what these people have bought after dumping this piece of rubbish out for the rubbish pile, hey? You know, I actually know what they've bought because the boxing of their next vacuum cleaner is here. So out with the uh, Chinese rubbish and look what these people bought. Look at this. Classic, hey, Dyson V6 Slim. This is not a setup. I know you'll be saying, oh, come on, Leo. <laughs> there we go. That's what those people have bought. Maybe they watched one of my videos and these people have been enlightened in uh, what's good in life, hey? What do you reckon? Do you reckon they've watched one of my videos and uh, learnt the good stuff? It seems like a setup, doesn't it? But it's not. You have to trust me on this one. I just love finding it when you see a rubbish vacuum cleaner next to the boxing of a Dyson. I see that all too often. What do you reckon? Instead of spending the money on that El Cheapo bit of nonsense there, put that money into Bitcoin. If you can't afford a Dyson, maybe, and it's a big maybe, the Bitcoins will grow up and you'll be able to afford one of these beautiful machines right here. And you're probably saying, oh, but Leo, that's a gamble. It never work out. But buying bits of rubbish like this is a gamble. Well, it's actually a stupid gamble because you're going to lose when you buy rubbish. It ends up on the rubbish heap. This is the next day on another rubbish pile, and I do love making these styles of videos, uh, but I do laugh when I see one of these toys on the rubbish pile. As you can see, it's a Tonka truck, but uh, when I see this, I think of Redback Spider Nest, and I'd be very curious to see what's going on underneath this one. And uh, you know what? I can actually see the activity of juvenile Redbacks under there. The real danger zones I've found of these styles of toys is up under the wheel arches in there. And if I poke around in there, I would hate to think what's going to come out. That's the scary, scary part uh, to these toys when they're left outside. The good old Tonka trucks, they ain't what they used to be. Uh, sadly, they rust up far too easily now. The older ones never were like that. But I think the worst aspect to these toys is the way they become spider homes and nice spider homes indeed. I do like looking at the rubbish piles. Uh, the rubbish piles talk to me. Uh, they tell me... Uh, what's going on in the country where I live. It's not a very pretty picture, is it? When you see something that's made in China, and it's out in the rubbish pile within two years. Uh, what value is in buying that? 
El Cheapo vacuum cleaner and they range in price from between let's say $50 to $150 I think anything in that price range and maybe a little bit more uh, you tend to just basically rip up your money blow your dough it is very curious to see what's said online about those El Cheapos but then again you'll also see the argument that Dyson are ridiculously expensive now people will say that a, a Dyson vacuum cleaner is like six seven eight times the price of a very inexpensive made in China thing that you'll throw out in two years so people still go and buy the El Cheapo thing don't they uh, people can't get their head around uh, buying something that's nice and something that is going to give you a far better clean than a piece of rubbish I don't understand I mean <laughs> There'd be many people who own Dysons, they'll understand what I'm talking about, but the people who don't own one, we shouldn't just say Dyson, just say one of the higher end cleaners, uh, you, get a, you get a much better product. I've only come to this revelation as I've got older in life. When I was younger, I used to thrive on rubbish, in a sense like I fed the made in China machine. But uh, with age comes, hopefully comes some wisdom and I purchase very differently these days uh, mind you <laughs> my wallet's far poorer for it but uh, maybe I'm better off for it if that makes any sort of sense now the last thing I'll talk about in this video and it may be something that you're curious about was the money that I had turned into Bitcoin because I missed out on the Aldi 3d printer Wow uh, that is a massive roller coaster ride of some very very scary ups and downs there was one day there where Bitcoin had dropped down by $1,000, but it regained that within a couple of days. So seeing the savageness of the, the cycling of, of Bitcoin, the alligator teeth, as it, as it gets older, is quite miraculous. But I don't understand money markets. I can't read those candlesticks. So I'm like the sort of this dumb person playing in this environment, which I don't understand, which I'll probably be taken out by a shark, I'm sure of it. But I think that in the year's time when we go back next may in 2018 and see how my 500 dollars has matured i think we're going to get a big big surprise and there's no financial advice in that at all it's just purely an experiment and just to get my head around bitcoin which to me is is quite complex to get your head around what's going on is this the greatest transfer of wealth that we're ever going to see um which possibly could happen that's what you hear people say people who supposedly know what they you know saying but then again, who do you believe? That's like the biggest problem. The thing that I believe in life is the rubbish piles. The rubbish piles, to me, speak the truth. Okay, there's a lot to be learned by looking at what people throw out. And on that note, we'll leave this video.